the Thames dashboard. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about what our software does and how it utilizes Spotify API. So Thanks uh, Network or software allows uh, you to embed tokens in any app to reward your audience for, for its engagement. Those token pools, uh, you see them over here, they hold a reward configuration uh, where you manage the distribution of your, of your token. Uh, that's over here. If we go over here, uh, you can manage your integrations. As you can see, uh, a couple of them have been configured already. So now let's set up the Spotify integration. When I click Connect, I am redirected to our authorization provider, uh, which Lucky directs us to Spotify through the uh, to obtain the authorization code with which we can request the uh, access token. So I'm going to agree to this, then I will be redirected to the redirect URI in our authorization server and then afterwards to our dashboard client. And as you can see, uh, our app is now connected. We do a little warning here because uh, we need to inform people currently that they need to contact us if they want to try this out due to lack of verification. Uh, then if we go to the token pool, uh, let's take the ITX pool that we saw just now, this one. There's a couple of rewards configured already. Uh, just let's configure a new one, then we can see some of the content that is shown over here. So we configure a and token reward for the Spotify channel with the follow me, follow playlist, play a track or save a track interaction. Uh, Follow me doesn't actually show anything because uh, we already have the uh, user ID based on the uh, initial request that we did with the access token. Uh, follow playlist does show you some, op some options. So this user has uh, well only one playlist as far as I can, uh, can see. Play a track. Oh yeah, shows a few songs which are taken out of that uh, playlist. And save track actually saves uh, as a condition for uh, saving a track. So let's take that one. Let's take the Z song. We add a reward over here. We can see that this new reward has been added. If we copy this uh, claim URL and open it in a browser where no authentication session is active. Uh, you will see that based on the information in the URL, the user is redirected to the authorization provider where we present the sign in with Spotify button uh, to request access on the user's behalf with the current, uh, with those read, uh, read scopes. <coughs> if the user does that, let's see if we have a dedicated session over here. Oh, apparently we did. Uh, if this is a first time user, then it would see the same Spotify screen as shown uh, shown earlier. Uh, apparently, I'm not eligible to uh, to claim this reward. So the Spotify account that I have configured here uh, probably never saved this uh, track, which very much. Uh, very well can be uh, can be true. Uh, if we would be able to validate that claim, the user would land in the wallet and see a uh, a token claim from the from the pool over there. That's basically how it all works. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna close this screencast and submit the uh, application. Thank you for watching.